Hi, fourth grade. Um, today we are looking at lesson 3.5, multiply by one digit numbers. So this is very exciting. You guys have been working on your fast facts and multiplication times tables all year long. Um, so now we're going to learn how to multiply some bigger numbers. Um, but don't worry, no regrouping today. That'll come later on. So I'm easing you into it. All right. So pretty easy steps we're going to start out with. Two steps. Number one, multiply the ones. When I say the ones, I mean the ones place. Step two, multiply the tens, the tens place. Okay? Pretty easy, right? Only two steps. What I mean when I say multiply the ones, multiply the tens, is this bottom number, you have to multiply by each of these. So we're going to multiply two by the ones and also by the tens. Okay. So, you know, thinking back to some of the methods um, and the models that we looked at last week, um, I want you to think of this as two groups of 24. So if we were looking at our place value blocks, we see two tens and four ones. So we need two groups of these. So first we're going to multiply the ones by two and then the tens by two. Okay, so we're going to start right here. And I know that two times four equals eight. So we see that my four ones right here, I've now multiplied by two. So now I have two groups of four ones, or eight ones total, which I write down here in the ones place. Now step two says multiply the tens. So I need to multiply two tens by two. So here I'm looking at two times two, which I know is four. So I write that down in my tens place. And looking up here, I now have two groups of two tens. Okay, so let's compare our answer. We multiplied two times four and got eight in the ones. Two times two and got four in the tens, giving us the number 48. Well, let's look up at our place value blocks. We have two times four, so eight in the ones, and two times two tens, or four tens. So also here we see represented 48. So our answer is correct. Okay, we're going to look at another example, and again, we're going to follow the same steps. Step one, multiply this digit by the ones. Step two, multiply this digit by the tens. Okay, so this should be pretty quick, easy math for you. Starting with the ones place. Six times one is six, right? So we write that six down here in the ones place. Now we're going to multiply six times the tens. So again, six times one is six. And we write that 6 in the tens place. So looking at our product, 11 times 6 is 66. Okay, let's look at one more example. This, you guys are probably thinking, Miss Nielsen, this is easy peasy. Okay, so again, we start by multiplying. We're going to multiply this digit. It's 32 times 3. So we have to multiply the 1s by 3 and the 10s by 3. So starting off, we're going to look at 3 times 2, which is... Six, exactly. So we're going to type our six right here. We're going to write that down. And now we need to multiply the tens place by three. Well, I know that three times three is nine. So in my tens place, I'm going to put a nine. And my total is 96. And a great way to check this is to use one of our multiplication models. Practice drawing three groups of 32 um, or even making an array. Um, with three rows and 32 um, in each row. So those are, you, could, you could also use a number line and count by three is 32 times. So those are some different ways to check your answers. All right, great job. We'll practice this in class tomorrow.